Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we're visiting Lantana Oceanfront Condominiums in Indian Harbor Beach. As you can see, we've just walked through the door of a three bedroom, two bath unit. I'm actually turning around just to give you a look at the uh, community itself. It's very nicely landscaped, and it has these very attractive tile roofs on the garages as well as the top of the building. Um, just going to walk right over here just to show you some of the tropical landscaping that they have here. In my opinion, it's one of the, uh, the nicest, at least as far as landscaping goes, communities in this area. So we're now walking back in the front door, and you can see that the floor is tiled throughout the unit. And it's set on a 45, which is an upgrade and uh, makes the unit feel like it's a little bit bigger than it typically would if the uh, tiles had been set as they traditionally are, just straight across. So upon entering, we have a bedroom off to the left. This is the smallest of the three bedrooms, but that said, it's not a small bedroom. This unit is very typical of the interior units at Lantana, so I hope this will give you a good idea of what the units look like. Um, it's a, like I said just a minute ago, it's a, it's a very nice community. Very well maintained, great landscaping. Uh, it was built in 2000, so it's one of the newer buildings in the Indian Harbor Beach Satellite Beach area. So we've just taken a look at one of the three bedrooms. We're now going to go across the hall to the second bedroom. But before I do that, I'm just going to turn right back to the entry so you can get an idea of what the front entry looks like here. So heading into the bedroom, you can see, like the first bedroom we were in, it's very nicely decorated, and it does have the tile floor. All of the windows do have storm shutters. This is, as you will see, a direct ocean unit, as are all units at Lantana. We have a mirrored closet door here. Now we're going to head out of this bedroom and we're going to walk toward the main living area. But before we get there, we're going to swing a right so that you can see the guest bathroom, the laundry room, and a storage closet here. It may be hard to tell on the video, but this is actually a mirrored closet door. So we have our air handler back here and we have the hot water heater. So, moving down the hallway, we have the washer-dryer, we have a breaker box, and something that you don't often see in a condominium, we have a utility tub, I've heard them called set tubs, uh, no matter what you call it though, it's definitely handy to have, and we have one tucked there underneath this large cabinet, so that's a nice little bonus feature there. And walking into the bathroom, we can see that we have a nice cabinet, large mirror, some nice lighting, and a shower tub combination. Let me just move the shower curtain back there. So, not to point out the obvious, but we do have a shower head here. And then we have the tub beneath. So there is the guest bath, there is me, I don't come with the unit, 
All right, so now we're looking toward the ocean again. We have a storage closet here to the right, which again has a mirrored door. And as we walk into the main living area, I'm going to pan to the left to show you that we have the kitchen, which is actually rather large for a condo this size. Um, the space has been used very well here, I think. So we have a pantry right there, but we have so much space that we actually have an eat-in kitchen here. So there's plenty of room to have a small table, a large refrigerator, and then all of the other appliances you typically see in a kitchen. And one thing we don't typically see in a kitchen that's very nice here, it may be hard to see with the light, but we have a view of the ocean here. So there we go. So you can't beat that. So moving into the main living area, you can see we have a large slider floor to ceiling. We have the dining area right here. Let me just back up a bit so you can see it. And then we have the kitchen that we were just in right there. And there's the hallway leading back toward the entry. So I'm going to continue turning to my left so we can go in the master bedroom. And then we'll head out on the balcony and enjoy the view. So the master bedroom also has a floor to ceiling slider that looks out directly on the ocean. So if you were waking up in the morning, that's what you would see. And I think that would be really nice. So a fantastic view of the ocean from uh, the master bedroom. Turning to my right, we can see the master bathroom. We have his and her closets on the left and the right. His being on the right. You can see we have some nice built-in shelves here. And hers is on the left. And we call it hers because it is the larger of the two. That's usually the way it works. Again, some nice built-ins. And this bathroom is a little unique in that it has, it does have two sinks, but as you can see, one of them is in what I would typically call the bathroom part, a traditional bathroom with a walk-in shower. And then out here you have the garden tub. It's actually a jacuzzi bath. So you can see the jets there. But you have a separate vanity here with a makeup area. So again, for a unit this size, not that it's a small unit, it's almost 1,800 square feet, uh, you still don't typically see the, uh, the split where you have one sink in here, a door, so that you have some privacy and then the second sink out here next to a vanity area. So we're now walking back toward the main living area. I don't believe I mentioned it earlier, uh, there is a one car garage that is included with the unit and that is out front. Uh, sometimes or it may be under the building actually. I would want to double check that. Uh, there is parking out front and I believe that this unit has one of those parking spaces that is, a, it's essentially a large detac detached garage uh, that runs the length of the condo, uh, which is different in that many condos actually have the first floor's parking, so. 
Don't mean to ramble there. I got a little distracted by the view. We are going to walk out onto the back porch now. This is definitely the highlight of the unit. It's a very nice unit, but as nice as it is, this is why you buy it. Because you have an absolutely amazing view of the beach here. As we pan right, you will see that that is a private entrance for the community there, or a private ramp, I should say, beach access. Uh, let me zoom in here. It's one of the few buildings in the area, though, that has a ramp going down to the beach. Uh, many communities have private beach access. Few of them have a ramp that actually leads down to the beach, so that's, that's nice to have. Off the top of my head, I can only think of two or three others in the Indian Harbor Beach Satellite Beach area that have the stairs as well as the ramp um, for a private access. So I'm now going to turn to my right, just to give you an idea of the size of the porch. You can see that it may not appear large, it's actually pretty big. Uh, you can see there's a lot of furniture out here, so plenty of seating. That's the slider to the master bedroom. These are the shutters that run the entire length of the porch. And you can see there's just a fantastic unobstructed view of the, the beach here. So today we have visited Lantana Condominiums. My name's Andy Barclay, and I'm a realtor with Remax Elite. If you would like more information about this unit, or any unit at Lantana, or any other condo or house in Brevard County, you can reach me at 321-514-9862, or you can email me at andy at thinkandy.com. Thanks for watching.